Good evening, I'm Tori Brunetti. McKay Allen has the night off. Tonight, the worst fears of the Silver Valley have been realized. Tecla Mining Company has announced one of their employees trapped during an April 15th cave-in did not survive the ground fall. Larry Merrick had just started his shift more than 6,000 feet underground when the tunnel he was working in collapsed. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey was in North Idaho today where Merrick was remembered as a man who loved life and his family. It is unfortunately not the Easter miracle that everyone was hoping for. Rescue crews have now blasted their way into the tunnel where Larry Merrick was last seen working and they have not been able to find him. They now believe that Merrick is buried somewhere underneath a 70 foot long pile of floor to ceiling rubble. Today at the Lucky Friday Mine, there were no signs workers had lost their race to save Larry Merrick's life, a battle waged almost entirely underground. Here at the Lucky Friday Mine in northern Idaho, we've been hoping for a miracle for more than a week, but have now informed Larry Merrick's family we believe hope for his survival is gone. Miners were given hope after holes drilled into the fallen stope showed small pockets of where the tunnel had not collapsed. However, when crews had finished blasting a 220-foot long drift to reach Merrick, they simply couldn't find him. It has been nine days since we had a fall of ground in the stope where Larry was working. We now believe that Larry was under the fall of ground when it occurred. Larry was an excellent guy. Dale Robinson went to high school with Merrick in nearby Kellogg. The hard rock miner turned trading company butcher says the public doesn't appreciate the role the mining industry plays in our daily lives. There's a lot of hard working people in that valley that do things every day for minerals and timber that we use every day and take for granted. They risk their lives every day. It's a risk Merrick and other members of his family have found acceptable for 30 years, a way of life for generations of men here in the Silver Valley. He was a family man. He was a great sports person, hunter, fisherman, just all around wonderful gentleman. Now that rescue workers are back in that collapsed stope, they are dealing with the same unstable rock that claimed Merrick's life. However, they are committed to bringing him back to the surface, both for the benefit of Merrick's family, as well as the comfort it'll bring the mining community. Reporting in the Silver Valley, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.